Madden 17 on EA Sports. Two teams will need their quarterbacks to step up and lead their offenses on the gridiron today. It's the Colts going up against the Broncos. So let's get you out to Denver for the call of our game. Here are Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. Larry, we are at the foot of the Rockies, Denver, Colorado, as you get a look at Sports Authority Field at Mile High. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Indianapolis Colts and the Denver Broncos. Hi again, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, And you know, Charles, as Larry pointed out in the open, got a couple of great quarterbacks set to square off here this afternoon. That ball's probably going to be flying all over the place, isn't it? Oh, without a doubt. And the game has never been more quarterback-centric than it is now. And both of these teams have top-flight signal callers. Here's the putter now, Pat McAfee, to get this one started. And off we go from Sports Authority Field. This is taken at his four. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. And trotting onto the field is Trevor Simeon to lead this offense. And it's hard to believe, Charles, that Denver, they're going to start their defense of the Super Bowl title with a quarterback who has never thrown a pass in the NFL. You talk about something that's really unusual in the NFL. We're going to see that with Trevor Simeon beginning the season. But remember, the Broncos have maybe the best defense in the league. So they feel confident that if Trevor Simeon goes out and plays to his strengths, poise, great character, confidence in himself and throws the ball better than what people believe right I've seen this kid throw it since high school he can sling it around pretty well but they do all those things and if he takes care of the ball he'll play to his best strengths and that is relying on his defense and his kicking game give him three on first down it'll set up a second and seven CJ Anderson may not be a pro bowl runner but he knows how to run big in big games. Yeah, he sort of sealed the Super Bowl for them in the fourth quarter. Big game against the Patriots last year on a Monday night, but only 720 yards all told in 2015. again with Anderson and he'll get this only up to about the 35 call it a gain of a couple and that's going to leave him with a third and about five well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things but the defensive guys hey they just won the battle there it wasn't a big run given up they don't always have to absorb the body blow sometimes they dish them out themselves so we've reached the end of a fairly even first quarter of play. Nothing, nothing, our score. Charles and I back to Denver after this. The NFL on EA Sports is brought to you by Head & Shoulders. Shoulders were made for greatness, not dandruff. Back alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's Bronco football to begin quarter number two. They've got a third down and five to start things out. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. And on third down, the Colts have added an extra defensive back. Flooding the passing lanes. He's got his man here, it's green. And 15 yards there on the catch and run. Now hold everything here, we're gonna get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. And we're back. The offense had a chance to talk things over. We'll see what they come up with here on this next play. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. He's got time. Looking left side and completing it to Thomas. 
And he's brought down. 12 yards on the pickup. And it's a first down for the Broncos. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So the offense takes the timeout, and they are back out and ready to rock. Offense lining up first and ten. Simeon looking middle and it's incomplete. CJ Anderson, the intended target, and that'll make it second and ten. Connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. Now Simeon. And Green with a catch left side. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it now. The confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football, but you do say, guess what? We can throw it. We can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. To the sideline, and oh, a nice catch there. Made sure the feet were inbounds, and they were. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area, that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He throws and he hits the slant route to Thomas. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. So the offense took the timeout. Looks like they're ready to go as we get set to resume the action. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. And McManus able to put it through. And the Broncos, the first to grace the scoreboard. It's three zip. So they kick it through to take the lead. There is a little bit of time left, though, here in the second quarter. And while they're concerned about not giving up a big return or giving up points themselves going into the half, how good do they feel, though, putting points on the board themselves right near the end of the first half? After splitting the uprights, McManus to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. So we've reached halftime. All we have to show for the first half, a lone field goal. 3-0 our score. As we send you on to Orlando, we hook back up with Larry Ridley. He's got our EA Sports Halftime Report. Thanks, Brandon, and welcome to the EA Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. Let's take a look back at the first half. Both the Broncos and Colts are bucking it up a bit on defense. Neither offense can get going, and so it may end up as a defensive battle for four quarters. 
All right, let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. So that'll bring our halftime report to a close. We'll go back now to Sports Authority Field at Mile High for the start of the third quarter. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. with a run by Gore. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. So the offense looking at a second and eight. Second down, here's Locke. Philip Dorsett holds it in. And he's brought down. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. Well, that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now at the home of the champs, Sports Authority Field in Denver. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Welcome back, the offensive unit. They took the timeout, and now they get set to line up as we resume action. And the O-line will have to do a better job protecting here on third down after that sack. He's back to throw. He's going to let it fly. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's brought down after a good game. That goes as a gain of 36 on third down. Go. 
So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. They'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. And my friend, drama, drama, drama as they get the lead here in dramatic fashion in the final moments of this one. The only way they can win, find a way into the end zone as the time was dwindling. Defense knew it, still couldn't prevent it. Now Adam Vinatieri. Now the Broncos are going to take a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. Now Adam Vinatieri for the point after. And this is up and good to make it After the touchdown, here's Pat McAfee to kick. This will be fielded at the eight. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. And Denver getting set to take the field. They have a little bit of time left here, but this one not going to go their way. And this is where, in this situation for me, you just go ahead and run out the clock, shake hands, congratulations, and move on. Because now, <laughs> you're not going to make up for what's happened during the game in this last sequence. We'll see what they do here in this last sequence. attempted downfield, but they were in excellent position. They didn't get fooled, and while he didn't come up with the interception, was able to bat the ball down. Ten yards still left on second down. He's got time in the pocket. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by a former first-round pick, Patrick Robinson. And that one, oh, it's going to hurt big time. You're in the two-minute drill trying to get your guys down the field, and it's looking like they're going to go just short, as this is definitely not his best throw. And it'll wind up being intercepted. Keep 
On first down, it's score. Yep. And now the Broncos will burn another timeout here. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. The Colts in victory formation now as they take the knee. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. And with a third and 14, we have six defensive backs out there now defensively. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.